Hello, thank you very much for the introduction. Um, it's great to get these talks talk started and uh, I get to speak to everybody today. Um, apologies for the slightly last minute kind of announcement of these talks. Uh, it crapped up on us slightly, but it's great to see so many people joining today. Um, and hopefully this will be the start of a really exciting kind of series for, for us. Um, the talks are deliberately really short and hopefully very focused. Um, today is a bit of a special one because it's the first one. So I'm going to give a, a very, very short introduction to NF Core, to the project for, for newcomers. And then I'm going to talk about the, the seminar series itself and also talk a little bit about the upcoming hackathon. Um, if you have any questions, then, then shout or, or Renuka will cu curate those and, and we'll take them at the end. So for any of you not familiar with NFCore, um, I guess you all will be if you're watching this video, but um, NFCore is a, a community effort to, to collect a curated set of analysis pipelines using Nextflow. That's our kind of tagline. Um, the focus being very much on the community and of course, uh, on the next flow part of that we're, we're all about really high quality workflows and working together to to make that happen um next flow itself is is a workflow manager a pipelining tool um and uh, the beauty of next flow really is that it works on almost any computational infrastructure the the pipeline code is portable across all these different systems so you write one pipeline and it it can run anywhere it can run on the cloud it can run locally it can run on your hpc and it's this functionality which really allows a community like NFCore to work, where we can build a single, work together on a single pipeline, but all be running it in a very heterogeneous compute environments. And it's uh, something which is extremely powerful. As well as just the compute infrastructure, Nextflow can also handle the different software container systems. So you don't have to go away and install hundreds of different bioinformatics tools every time you want to run a pipeline, as long as you're set up with either Docker, Singularity, or Conda, or in fact, also now Shifter and Podman and other container containerized tools, all of the NFCore pipelines should work basically out of the box. Um, and each pipeline will comes with its own set of software dependencies already pre-packaged for you. So that's Nextflow. NFCore is, is kind of a distinct project, but of course very, very closely tied to Nextflow. Uh, what we bring is a set of guidelines, which is kind of needed to, um, to harmonize all the pipelines within the project. We're a large group of people now, and so we all need to kind of play by the same set of rules and the guidelines um, are the starting point for that. Uh, we provide a lot of helper tools, which um, give additional kind of functionality, both if you're running pipelines or workflows, uh, help to list what's available, um, download those pipelines so that you can run them on your offline cluster, and kind of streamline some of this common workflows, but also for pipeline developers as well um, to run automated tests, uh, to build a pipeline from, from our template in the first place and things like this. Uh, and then finally, what mo many people come to us for is, is the resource that the pipelines themselves. Um, so we have, we have a large number now of, of pipelines which are ready to go, some in development still, some, some quite mature, um, and, and all of them hopefully useful and ready to go. Um, the pipelines are great, the tools are fantastic, but none of that happens without the community and that's really the heart of NFCore. Um, and what started off as kind of a small unofficial project, mostly in, in Europe, has really now spread to be a fairly global and hopefully as inclusive as possible community. Um, as Renuka mentioned, we, we get, we're getting people from all over the world contacting us now and getting involved, uh, which is brilliant to see. Uh, comes with its own challenges, especially time zones and things, but but things seem to be working. So uh, it's great to see so many of you here. Uh, and then just winding up on then, of course, it's important, I think, to say, say really the heart of the, this community and the communication is mostly Slack. So if you're, if you're not already, um, and then hop onto the NFCore Slack, and then you'll find channels for the pipelines, and we'll also communicate and, and discuss all the different topics around NFCore. And it's a really fun place to be in, to meet people. If you want more details on NFCore itself, uh, you can check out the publication or, or the website. So uh, that's the end of my NFCore intro. Hopefully everyone's on the same page. Um, what is this Bite Size? Um, Bite Size is a new seminar series that we're starting off. And um, as NFCore has grown, um, more and more people were involved. A lot of people 
uh, wanting to get involved and wanting to get up to speed with, with how things work. Uh, and there's been an increasing demand for, for training materials and documentation. This hopefully is um, kind of another, another arrow in our quiver for that. It's like a bit more material that we can start to generate for training materials, basically for, for newcomers. Um, we'll be doing these as live seminars. Um, that's partly to spread them out over time so that they're not too big a, an ask of any one person at any given time. Uh, spread them out between speakers so it won't just be me talking every single week. Um, and, uh, and also um, we have a question and answer session afterwards. But as well as that, all of these talks are going out live to YouTube where they'll also be archived and, um, and be curated into playlists so that they're easily accessible afterwards. We're also thinking we're gonna put these in a prominent place on the NF Core website and hopefully might even start to associate the talks, uh, the videos there along with some written material where appropriate. So this will be a, a kind of good way to take out specific focus topics, talk about them in, in, in detail. And, uh, and then if you're following along with the series, you can like learn as you go along, but also we can refer back to these, these talks if people ask us questions which are related. And I have to thank uh, Renuka for the excellent uh, name, suggestion and tagline, which I think is very catchy. <laughs> So, um, so I said they're short, we're aiming to try and do just 15 minutes uh, of actual talking because um, it's sort of kind of lunchtime seminar. So we don't want to take too much time out of your day. Um, and we're going to try and do every Tuesday lunchtime um, in Europe. Uh, hopefully this time will work for other time zones as well. Um, we're going to try and keep each talk um, as focused as possible on specific topics, so not too broad as many of our previous training talks have been. And like I say, they're gonna, we're gonna end up on the website. Um, we've been kind of a core team, the outreach team has been working quite hard the last few weeks and trying to think up different things. Um, and our initial focus is gonna be trying to cover some of the common uh, training topics and, and topics which will be important for the hackathon, which I'm gonna come on to next. Um, and this is really to try and bring everybody up to the same starting point so that when we do the hackathon, um, you will already know how to get started. Um, this is an important note on the upcoming hackathon. Previously, we've had these meetings as a kind of combination of training and actual writing code. But this time we're gonna try and pull the training out a little bit, spread that out over the seminar series instead and focus specifically on, uh, on really like writing for the hackathon and make it shorter and a bit more bit more intense. So these seminar series is a good way to, to keep on track of everything and make sure that when you hit the, the hackathon, you hit the ground running. So uh, we've got a lot of other ideas in, in addition to these listed here. Um, and this might, might change, but this is this is what it looks like today. So um, we're going to be announcing these as we did today's talk, hopefully with a bit more warning uh, through the NF Core website. We've got the events page. Um, just suggested a moment ago that we make this a bit prominent. So as of about two minutes ago, it's now listed as a, a main button in the top navigation, which you can find easily. Uh, that will list all the talks, uh, when they are and what they're about. We've got a dedicated Slack channel on the NF Core Slack. Um, you can pop in there to ask questions about any of the talks before or after or during, <laughs> and we'll try and scoop them up. Um, and of course, we'll be announcing them via our Twitter feed as well. Um, I would just also add that we're really keen to hear what you'd like to know about. So, so far, the topics that we've come up with are things that we're, we're commonly asked about within the NF Core Slack, which are common topics, uh, points of confusion or things which we think um, will help people. But of course, we're going to want input from the community. So jump onto that Slack channel and fire away with any ideas of things you'd like to see short talks on. And uh, we'll add them to the list and see if we can cover them. Also, if you'd like to give any talks, we're, we're looking for more speakers always. So uh, if, you're, if you're interested in giving a talk on any topic, then please wave your hand. Okay, so that's the, the talk series. Um, also announced today is the NF Core Hackathon. Um, and this is our next kind of big event. As NF Core has grown over the past a couple of years, um, we started off with really very small, very informal hackathons. and um, and they've kind of become more formalized, bigger, more inclusive as we've gone along. And, uh, and I'm hoping that this next one will be a kind of a natural growth of that. 
they've actually become one of my favorite parts of, of working with NFCore and um, getting everyone together either in person or, or virtually and uh, kind of having this real focused um, time to work together and it is really evident then that the community aspect because everyone's working together and chatting and, and you kind of see everyone's contributions. Um, so because of the ongoing pandemic the next hackathon will be will be hosted virtually uh, so it will be online um, and uh, it's going to be uh, towards the end of March, so March the 22nd to the 24th. Um, we've done it at the start of the week with the intention that uh, for people who are working on a project, there'll be kind of a tail off at the end of the week. So an unofficial hackathon can continue afterwards if you'd like to. Um, lots of good reasons to attend. Uh, of course, we'll all be there, so uh, you can come and hang out with us. <laughs> um, this year, Harshal suggested that we can try and um, push kind of this live pair programming, which is becoming more and more possible with different uh, code editors like Atom and VS Code. Um, so if we have two or more people working on the same chunk of code or the same idea, we can all hop into the same session and basically co-edit the same file live. Um, even if it's just one person typing, it's a nice way to actually kind of um, feel like we're sitting next to one another, even though we might be in different continents. Um, there's going to be quite a lot of focus on, on DSL2, domain specific language 2, the next iteration of the next flow syntax. So uh, if you've kind of been hearing about this for a while but have never quite taken the plunge, uh, the hackathon is a great place to do that because we're going to be doing lots of focused work on it and leading up to that with some training materials. So it's a really good way to, to fully immerse yourself in this new world, speaking for myself as well. <laughs> Um, there's also important stuff like uh, Maxime's already started working on the collaborative playlist on Spotify, so uh, you can, we can all get a, get, get a groove on. And of course, um, we're hoping to send out, like we did for the last online hackathon, if you sign up in time, um, we're hoping to send out some, uh, some little goodie bags with some NF course stash. So that's reason alone, to be honest. Uh, I'm not sure if it's 100% confirmed yet, but maybe a little something like this might be coming through your letterbox some very fancy socks again thank you Anuka, for this uh, we'll see no promises <laughs> um just like the bite size we'd love your help with the hackathon as well uh the, the organization is, is a big job and it started already but um there's some key things that we'd really like extra people um, on board for as this is online and as i said as we're becoming more global It'd be great if we could try to spread the hackathon out across different time zones and get more people outside of Europe um, involved in the Americas and Asia. Um, and one of the ideas we had for that is just to have a handful of people who are in those different time zones or potentially willing to stay up late. Uh, and so that we know for certain that there's going to be at least one person around at any given time. And then we can try and keep the hackathon kind of rolling 24 hours, which would be brilliant. Then if new people are hopping on and they don't know where to start or where to look, then at least they know there's going to be someone responding to the messages in Slack or something like this. So if you'd like to volunteer for that, and if you're in a funky time zone, that would be fantastic. We've also got the different hackathon projects. Um, so we're looking for people to kind of uh, take lead on those, um, just again, for a similar reason. So people coming in and wanting to know where to start, there's just kind of a, they know who to talk to, to get, to get a feel for which, which of the subtasks and what, what, what they could work on. We're also looking for ideas for what people should work on, different tasks, and all of this is being organized through Slack. So hop on to the new Hackathon March 2021 Slack channel uh, and either say that you'd like to be involved or, um, or jump in, suggest any ideas. Um, I should have put the link in here, but there's also a, a web page on the NFCore website um, for this. Uh, maybe I can share my screen, that window quickly, yeah. Um, just so you can see what I'm talking about. So um, here you can see I'm on the, the NF4 website. If I hop onto the, the events page, you can see that we have uh, a page about today's talk, this one right now, uh, with the links and everything. Um, and there's also a page about the upcoming hackathon. So if you click here, you'll find uh, the link to register. So this is non-binding. It doesn't cost anything to join the hackathon. It just helps us know roughly who's going to be there, which which projects people are interested in working on. Um, and if you want any of that cool stash, then you have to put your address in so we can post it to you. And then there's details about when it's going to be and how it's going to work. And this page will grow as, as the hackathon gets closer. Uh, you can also see some of the ideas that we're working on for different kind of tasks to work on on the project. Uh, 
Um, great, that's it for me. That's my 15 minutes. So as I finish every, every talk, come and join our community if you're not already. Uh, we operate on GitHub, Slack, Twitter, YouTube, and you can find all the details on how to join all of those on our website. Um, I didn't introduce myself very much at the start, but my name is Phil. <laughs> I work at Silo Lab in Sweden as well at the NGI. And uh, this lovely view I took with my new toy, it's about 70 meters above where I'm sat right now, but uh, when the sun was shining a couple of days ago. And uh, with that, I'm happy to take any questions, please pop them into the, the Zoom chat or Slack and, and Renuka can relay to me. Thanks very much, Phil. And thanks everyone for listening. And we have uh, a question in the chat. And one of and that is uh, um, Vidya wants to know whether there will be any talks on how to run an NF core on a grid system running Slurm. Yeah, I mean that's that's quite a specific question um, about not so much Nextflow uh, NF core, but that's more a kind of a Nextflow issue. Uh, we're going to talk about one of the first talks will be about how to set up um, NF core configs. Um, so we have a, a few different ways to, to bring in Nextflow configuration into the NF core pipelines and make that easy for you. Um, and we have uh, plenty of people using, using um, NF core pipelines on Slurm, myself included. Um, so that would be a good place to start. There's a talk coming up about that. And also jump onto the NF core Slack and head over. Uh, we have a channel called Configs, uh, which is designed for questions like this. And hop on there and we can help you out. Okay, thank you. And there don't seem to be any more questions on, um, on in our chat here. And yeah, so that seems to be it, basically. Oh, uh, sorry, I meant to say, I meant to put a slide in and I totally forgot. Uh, I have, I need to put it on the finish slide as well. Uh, All right. We need to put a, a big hands up and thank you to the Chan Zuckerberg Initiative, the CZI. Um, these hackathons and these uh, bite-sized talks are supported through a grant that we received from the, the CZI, the EOS program, the Essential Open Source for Science project. Um, so Renuka, who's, who's organizing all these behind the scenes, she's, she's uh, part, part funded by this and also uh, a lot of the back-end stuff is, is helped through that. So uh, it'd be very difficult to, to do this without their help and we're very grateful. Uh, remember to put that logo into the next talk. Okay, and there's also a question now about whether there's an agenda somewhere for the NF Core talks. Yeah, there will be. Um, yes. So uh, this will come up on the NF Core website under the events page. Um, we're just finalizing who is going to give which talks on which days. And as soon as we've settled on those, we're going to start adding them to the NF Core website. So check them out. I think when they're added to the NF Core website, they automatically pop into Slack in a cha channel called um, Events. So if you if you join that that channel on the NF Core Slack, you'll see them see them appear there when they're ready, um, and uh, we're also going to announce them on on bite sizes as they're coming up.